Howdy, Internet! This is Goatface. And Neojock, too. And welcome back to the Goatface Corner. In today's episode... We're lining up to line them up. Yes, sir! Neojock and I are first in line at Tube TV for their reopening. Tubi and friends managed to scrape together their sick days and paid vacations to get a little time off. To recover from everything that happened last winter. But now that they've recovered, Tube TV is accepting submissions. Tubi called ahead and warned us to expect lots of traffic, so bright and early we are. Maybe a little too early. What are we supposed to do while we wait for them to open? You know as well as I do exactly how we're going to pass that time, good buddy. Neo Jock, I challenge you to a game. The rules are simple. You and I will play a game of blockchain. Last one alive wins. Wow, that is simple. If I win, you... Wait, hold on, shut up. Hey. Nice wingspan. What was that? Was that good? He said meet me at six. My man! Oh hey, I know. If I win, you'll have to pay for whatever that'll turn out to be. Alright. And if I win, you gotta pay for this. Deal. Alright, Neo Jock! Let's play! Blockchain was a game created by an extremely talented lone Russian programmer in 1984, then licensed to Entertainment System, and further released to these nifty portable consoles in the year 1989. It is also the best-selling video game of all time. Blockchain is a puzzle game where the player arranges shapes that fall from the top of the screen by moving them horizontally or rotating them 90 degrees. The object of the game is to arrange these shapes to create full lines of squares. The lines you create are then cleared, and all the blocks move down by the number of lines removed and no further, even if there's empty space beneath them. My research leads me to believe this is called naive gravity, which sounds true to my blockchain job brain. While the laws of gravity may be beyond me, the laws of blockchain are firmly within my synaptical grasp. Do you even have synapses? Yes, but only when I'm playing blockchain. Well, my good buddy may be exaggerating slightly about his knowledge of the inner workings of blockchain, he is more or less correct. Each of the shapes you're given to make your patterns with are called tetraminos, which is a fancy, mathy word for shape made of four squares and is not copyrighted so you can't sue me for saying it. In the limited color version of blockchain you see before you, tetraminos are patterns so that players can better tell the difference between each block, which is especially helpful as there are two pairs of blocks that mirror each other's shape. The J and L blocks and the S and Z blocks respectively. Uh, yeah, those. They're... Or as we blockchain professionals call them, sizzles and ziggles. See? I knew I told you a lot. I mean... <laughs> See? I told you I knew a lot. I'm even on a first name basis with some of the pieces. Neo Jock, don't take it personally, man. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I'm not taking it personally. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew I was good and smart at the game because what you said hurt me on a deep and intimate level. That's what taking it personally means. Oh. Carry on, then. The deer face says I crave compliments. You do! Uh, shut up! There are seven individual tetraminos the game gives the player at complete computational random, which is also my name for everything Neil Jock's ever said. So you are, unfortunately, never guaranteed a way out of any situation you might put yourself in. There's some debate amongst the scientific blockchain community, of which I am a part because I'm smart and good at blockchain, as to whether an infinite game would be possible. People much less good at the game than me have determined no. If the game kept giving you S and Z pieces ad nauseum, you'd be forced to leave holes behind in your balance, which would make building lines impossible. Eventually, you'd be forced to the top of the screen, and as soon as one of the pieces you place goes above the top of the screen, your game is definitively over. 
Hey, check it out. See? It's Nestor Kid! From the cool game, Super Nestor Kids! Cementing that I am both good at blockchain and also very creative. I... how? Game skill, but goody. Man, I'm beginning to genuinely regret accusing you of exaggerating instead of just pretending to forget it to get you off my back. As you should. Now peep this out. This next one we in the biz call a triple D spin. Uh, hashtag Goatface Fun Fact. While playing in multiplayer, if your opponent clears a particularly impressive set of lines, blocks called garbage get sent to your half of the game, which, if left unchecked, can be a quick and easy way to lose. However, garbage blocks are designed to be easy to remove, so they can also make for a quick and easy way to send garbage straight back to your opponent. If I may... See? Leo Jock, where's the garbage? Currently, I'm employing my patent pending asleep at the wheel strategy. Basically, you just put the console down and have a sip of your favorite beverage. Leo Jock, you can't drink beverages. Hold stiff. I don't really think you should. <laughs> As your pieces are in the air, your opponent's garbage cannot be added to your screen, giving my opponents the ample thinking time to consider their life choice if that would lead them to confront me. The best, the smartest, blockchain enthusiast ever. Why did he, why did he say that like he won? I'm not even... <sighs> That's two then. Well, good buddy, I suppose that wraps it up. You win. I guess I'll be paying for your date. You, uh, want to say the magic words in recognition of your Victavery? Good buddy? Hello? Hello, hello? Yeah, 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 that's game. Hey, Tube. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's the antivirus treating you? All systems are operating perfectly within parameters. Is that good? Yes, that's good. Good. So, why all the fuss? You can never be too careful. Several of my fellow T-Series robots are still experiencing symptoms. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Don't be, it's not your fault. It's also made for brain TV, which Miss Algorithm appreciated. She wasn't worried for your safety at all? Miss Algorithm tends to deal with things alphabetically. And ratings count before safety. And to be. And users. And viewers. That's sad. But hey, speaking of ratings... I'm sure my 200 subscribers will get a kick out of this. Oh, that reminds me. I was supposed to give this to you when you hit 100 subscribers, but I was possessed at the time. That's fair. Oh, uh, oh well. Anyway, Goatface, are you ready to go inside? I, huh? Neojot, you're still here? Um, yeah? Are you ready to upload that video? Oh, I already did. Like, ten hours ago. What? I guess I got carried away. But at least... I guess I'll bill you for this later!